What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spin. I'm back at you with another cryptocurrency video. Now this one's just a general overview. Let's check out the cryptocurrency market, see what's going on. As you can see from the colors of my lightings, it is a bloody, bloody day today. Absolute bloodbath today. So let's have a little check, see what's going on. It is not looking too great today, guys. As you can see, I'm on crypto bubbles. Everything is in the red, guys. Everything is in the red. Absolutely everything. Engine, Bitcoin, Satan is up there in the red. They're all in the red. There's not one coin that is in the green. Apex, everything is in the red today, guys. How do we feel about that? How do you guys feel about the market at current? Yeah, we're going to quickly just check a look at the crypto fair and greed index. And look at where we are, guys. So yesterday we were at 20, yesterday we were at 25, last week we was at 46, last month 11. So we are really in this, in this area over here. It's looking quite fearful overall for everybody. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at the, the global, let's have a quick look and see what the actual complete cryptocurrency market is looking like. One second. Let's have a look. So we are at 1.7 trill, guys, 1.7 trill. So we're down 0.85% in the last day. What's your guys' thoughts? How, how are you guys feeling about, about the status of crypto at the moment? Are you guys feeling confident? Is this an opportunity for you? Is this an opportunity or is it a hindrance? How are you feeling regarding this? Now, for me personally, I try to treat crypto like a job. That's my, that's my thing, I treat crypto like a job. So I haven't been in crypto long, I've been in it maybe a year, coming up to a year properly I've been into crypto and I haven't fully been around the cycle. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to teach myself and educate myself from those who have been in this cycle before, who's been in crypto for two, four years, eight years, 10 years and learning from those people so that we can start to try and create patterns of what's going on at the end of the day. Now, have a think, think of it like this, yeah? If the global cryptocurrency market is at 1.7, this is just me doing a bit of maths, if it's at 1.7 trill, how are people making money? How are people making money in a market that looks like this? How the hell are people making money in a market that looks as red as this. Now, what my thoughts are is that people are just literally, you know, swapping swapping their what, one currency to another. Now, if you look here, you've got just at minus 44%. You've got over here, biggest gainers, 565%, 380%, 302%, and there's more. Now, what I believe is that people are just shifting their crypto assets from one place to another. Some people, some investors shift their crypto assets from the more riskier assets to more stable, safe assets, like the stable coins. There are some people move their assets from uh, a less risky asset to a higher risk asset that could potentially bring them more rewards. Some people move their assets from an old asset to a new asset that's got a lot of hype around it. There's a lot of different ways that people are moving their crypto assets. A lot of people are not staying in the in the mindset of just, okay, let me keep my Ethereum or let me just keep my Bitcoin or let me keep this particular coin. They're moving it around to try and maintain the value of their cryptocurrency. So that's what I'm seeing. And, you know, for myself, I'm, I'm not as such moving around my funds as such. I go into projects that I believe in. I will, I will huddle on projects that I like and I believe in. However, I would always take profits from those particular projects, always taking profits from those particular projects. So I'm not feeling too, too bad about the situation at the moment, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in regards to how you're feeling about this particular situation with the cryptocurrency, the Ukraine, the Russia, a lot of fear being incited into the world causing for cryptocurrency and other assets, stock markets and such and so forth to plummet. But have we seen cycles of this before? 
Have we seen cycles of this before? Do we remember 2008 when the recession was around? Do we remember the cycles of what occurred? So some people are seeing it as an opportunity. Some people are seeing it as just a complete hindrance and they're just sick and tired of this space. How do you guys vision it? What do you guys think? What's your thoughts? I'd love to know. But uh, yeah, it's a bloody day in the market. A bloody day in the market, guys. Absolute bloody. No, these are that for the last, what is it, last hour. The last hour. Who's up? The most in the last hour it's, it's rubbish no good not even one percent literally a bloody bloody day but guys we're all in it together we're all learning we're a community you know i hope that you stay strong whatever your position whatever your perspective and uh yeah just keep going you know if you've been in the crypto industry for two months four months six months if you've just purchased a coin or you've just you know, jumped in it and you ain't been in it that long, you're not that educated. Now is a very good time to get educated. Now is a very good time to position yourself around people who are, you know, familiar with the crypto space, familiar with the cycle, familiar with the bear run, familiar with the bull run, so that you can best place yourself and get the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to get through these testing times, these testing times, guys. Absolute craziness going on right now. There's a lot of different things, staking, farming, yield farming. There's a lot of different ways that people are actually making money or maintaining their portfolio during this time. But we have to educate ourselves. We have to educate ourselves, number one. We have to stop jumping into rug pool projects, projects that serve no purpose, number two. And number three, I believe that we need to start making the devs accountable for projects that, when they bring it to the table, are not ready yet. They need to be, become more ready. If this is something that you want to do, you want it to be a dev, you want it to create games, play to earn games, you want it to create a coin and create an ecosystem of things, I reckon you, you need to have a little bit of capital to get you know some of these things up and running, guys. Like you can't just rely on the community because the community can only take you so far. Obviously, the project is going to be the, the ultimate thing, as well as the team, obviously, that's going to drive this through. But we need projects that are, you know, a bit more close to ready because people's hope, they're losing hope in, especially new projects, especially new projects that are bringing out a utility use case and it's not ready yet. So what's your thoughts though anyway, guys? Man, I'd love to know in the comments below. If you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay updated with all of my videos. I've got a few videos coming out today of some projects that actually have some good use case. So, I'll be dropping that a little bit later. I'll also send a little Twitter out as well. But yeah, guys, until next time, stay safe, invest wisely, take care. Peace.